Today is Friday, July 5th, 2013. As you can see, we're going to have a multimeter video for you today. Um, used to have a lot of these in the past. Got a lot of good feedback, a lot of good hits. So I figured I'd do another one. But more importantly, I need to do it for my BMW, my fuel injectors here. Um, as far as the cafe, I don't know if I'll make any videos this evening. I was hoping to, but I've got to do some painting in the house and uh, i got to get this BMW uh, up and going just so I can uh, say it's done. So, um, Again, monometer video, we're going to be testing the injectors. Now, I already know these are all good, but I just want to show you how to test them as far as the resistance on them with uh, using, ohm, or using a meter, checking the ohms on them. Um, I've already cleaned these. I had a clogged one. Uh, you can look on YouTube. There are plenty of videos on cleaning the injectors on there, and I've already done it, so I should be good to go. But just wanted to make this quick video to show you how to actually test the resistance. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you've got your meter. You want to make sure you have it set up on ohms. Now this one is more of an auto kind of meter, so whatever setting I've got, um, you know, it, it's going to do everything. It's kind of automatic. We've got it set up on ohms here. See the little thing? It looks like a little set of speakers almost. Um, so that's that. Yours may have an actual just that reading, but you see right here, this particular dial gives you, uh, you know, uh, continuity ohms, all that stuff. Uh, as far as the reading on these, a lot of them are going to be different. So if you if you post questions of what is my you know what should my injectors be, I have no idea. You're gonna to have to do a little bit of research and find out. You can probably search Google and find out what you should be at. Most of these style here, these Bosch or what have you, are about the same. So all mine I've already tested, but I'm just going to show you how to test these real quick. Just one of them. But uh, so you want to take a positive on one of the probes, put it on that connector. Again, the connector, I don't know if I showed you that, right there. It's the electrical connector. Connector. When you take them out, you'll have to unplug it from there. So, one side on the positive. Hopefully we don't drop it like we just did. Not the injector, but the probe. So, just stick one in there on the positive, And the other one on the negative. And you'll get your reading. See it in the background there? This one's at 16.1, that's where it's settled at. Get this a little closer. It's kind of difficult holding this injector up and putting the probes in and all that at the same time. It'll settle, so 15.9, it'll, it'll probably settle right, yeah, right around there, 16.0, 15.9. See right there, I'm just touching each terminal. And that's it. Again, this is not going to tell you foolproof if the injector is good. It will tell you if the resistance is good on it. Now, if you, uh, it's just a quick test. So if you have an injector and you think it's bad and they all test out resistance, doesn't mean it's still good. It could be clogged, could be anything. But if you suspect you have an injector that's just not working, you can do this test on all six of them real quick, or eight, however many you're going to have, four cylinder, eight cylinder. And uh, if you've got one that doesn't read or reads a way off number from the other five, you know, however many you have, then you know you've got one bad. So it's not a foolproof design. It's just a quick test. You know, boom. You got one that doesn't read. Well, you need a new one. So that is it. Just a real quick one there. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.